back to Roswell and then straight out to Riadoso for another estimate on a motel. So now I'm coming back to Roswell, it's almost five. Yeah, got some cool things coming, so headed back into Roswell and I've got to go look at some small projects that we're on. So for uh, another great day. Yeah, the guys are here this afternoon now. It was this morning earlier. And uh, just getting a new water line ran to the existing front yard from where the guys are right there. It crossed over and ran to the front. Well, the homeowner's doing an addition from that big house back there you see. He's gonna come all the way out here. So we had to run a new water line all the way around. So one of our guys, I'm not sure who, but they're tying into the old supply that went across this and we went a big old loop around here to water this front yard because that's going to that valve box so we're going to try to figure out where to tie it on there but so we're going to probably elbow it up to that inch and a half line and then from there it's going to be good to go so pretty warm day here there's guys out there but a lot of pipes it's like 700 like almost 700 feet of pipe so almost done here I don't know how long the guys have been here for, but with that, we're done here, and and yeah, keep uh, keep water up to their front uh, irrigation system. You know, that cut the, why'd you cut the wrong pipe, Alfred? <laughs> so we just figured out if a water line we were gonna hook onto over here. It's not a water line and it was a drain line. So now we're cutting it. We're gonna go back and hook onto the real water line back there. Yeah, Nofra was about to, or he already cut into the drain line, and the presumed was a water line. Shut off the well to the house and realized that, or I guess he cut it before we shut it off and realized that it was not pressurized. So, and it stinks now. So we think that is going to those clean outs there, which look like two inch pipes as well. And there's another one here. No, this one might've been the new ones actually. That one might've been an old one. So there's a little outdoor kitchen back there that they probably most likely have some sinks and a soda machine there that might be using that line. I don't know, it's too small for toilets and everything. It's gotta be, but it stinks. You can definitely smell it and that he cut it open. So it's definitely a drain line. We just don't know for what. Uh, it's definitely gotta be just for the sinks and stuff. So yeah, it's always interesting here. Got it fixed and <laughs> what the heck. Got uh, Jason over here coasting around. So I think we got it and we're back on uh, on the schedule. Beautiful new pickup. So yeah, she's sitting pretty, especially with the mountains back there behind her. Look at that. It's pretty nice. So I haven't really showed the truck just here in Las Cruces. I'm actually running, I'm kind of in a hurry right now to go to El Paso, but here it is. Just got it a few days ago. Uh, so I'll probably have Jorge get some really good shots of it here uh, later today, but. Yeah. So, I turn this down. 
Yeah, no, this is a pretty cool truck. It's actually a lot um, nicer than the than the Mercedes, honestly. A lot easier to navigate. Uh, everything here in the dash is really simple. Uh, it's a GMC uh, Denali. Well, that's the time. She's the new uh, new addition. It's a diesel, actually. Not the Duramax. Be able to finally pull some trailers. Couldn't do that in my car. And as you saw all the videos before in the car, always putting plants in the back seat and the front seat. And it was much needed. Super expensive. I'm going to be paying for the rest of my life, children's lives. They're going to take over the payments on this truck for like 75 years. So I think it'll work. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it's been pretty good. I just barely got it Saturday. So we've got to put some decals on it, get it to the wrap shop. I don't, we're not gonna do a wrap, but they're just gonna do decals probably. Another, uh, another truck added to the fleet. 